What's up, YouTubers? Um, I don't know how many of you guys follow me on the weird forums or on the Facebook or whatever, but you probably heard me whining about Zuzzy Mats and my lack thereof. Uh, Zuzzy Mats are uh, a product that I've been looking forward to getting um, for running demos, hosting tournaments, and so forth. And it is Thursday afternoon right before our convention tomorrow and I got my Zuzzy mats got four Zuzzy mats here and I've got to paint them um, great product by the way um, like I said the the major hassle was the weight in getting these but these are they're just fantastic fantastic feel um, you know good construction great detail on these uh, this is the sulfur waste I believe and that one there is verdant fields um, I've got four different sets, and so we're going to paint them. However, I'm going to use something a little bit different than uh, what Zuzzy is saying, which is, you know, dry brush scumming. I'm actually going to use a version of dry brushing, but I'm going to use something like this. I'm going to use a high-density foam roller with a very thin-down product. See, my verdant fields, I don't want them that verdant. Um, I'm going to go with a kind of a drier uh, grassland... Uh, desert prairie type look. So I'm taking my cheap acrylic paints, I'm going to mix them into a very thin mixture, then I'm going to roll them uh, with a ve uh, very lightly with this high density foam roller. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, stage one base coats are done. Uh, just a little bit of gray dry brushing here using the foam roller technique, very fast. Um, you do get some lap lines so be careful about that. Uh, so I'm now making a wash out of uh, uh, brown ink, uh, a little bit of Devlin mud, and a little bit of uh, brown paint. So uh, that's going to go over here, and we'll see how that goes. Thanks. All right, next step. Brown wash, like I said. Brown wash is down. Um, the winter board's almost done. Just need to uh, highlight up little uh, shards there that I'm going to make look like snow and ice to match my snow and ice board uh, and the one on the, the there uh, that's actually pretty much done just want it to dry up a little bit um, looking pretty good so far so we'll see all right so these are done just need to do the other two now so got an ice field and kind of a grassland, earthy, prairie thing. So overall, not bad. Really good product. Um, nice looking detail on these. Uh, that's still drying. Um, <clears throat> you know, I could go back and hit them with some darker ink. I probably will at some point. But, uh, you know, for the convention tomorrow, these should look fine, especially with my uh, custom terrain that goes over them. Um, so let's look at the other two. Yeah, well, okay, moving right along with the flagstone map. And see, I went in. Um, first thing I did is I actually did the foam roller brush to give it that gray. And then I hit it with some, like, brick red, kind of a muddy red, to give it um, the secondary color there for flagstone. Um, may need to come back and do a third color, although... I won't, I won't lie, painting this stuff was a bit tedious, even though, you know, I wasn't terribly accurate and went through with uh, the gigantic brush on this one and hit all the stones that I wanted. Uh, on the other side of the table, we have the broken blacktop. Now, I, I did very little to it so far. All I did was just paint in those brick sections right there. So, um, and I don't plan on doing much more else to that. I might just dry brush uh, some of the cracks in the... Uh, pavement and that's about it but this guy here really leaning towards a third color for the stones even though it's really kind of hurting my brain to do this kind of tedium so anyway I'm gonna keep going and we'll see you at the end okay finally done does that hurt your eyes it does mine tell you that okay so Finished the flagstone set. Um, 
really cool set. Uh, other than, you know, I probably would have changed my mind about going such a red because when I added the darker stones, it actually makes the red pop even more. So this almost looks kind of like a red-green colorblind test right here. Um, overall, really good product. Really good product. Highly recommend these Zuzzy mats. Um, they're they're pretty durable, and uh, you know they paint up easily enough. You can use stuff like um, high density foam rollers to do mass dry brushing, or they're actually it's actually more of a mass over brushing technique. Um, and you can use your regular large brushes uh, and inks and washes. Um, you know you just don't want to go too thick. Honestly, you know I didn't go terribly thin with any of this, so. Um, it, it, it's still nice and flexible. Um, so this set is, this is great. I'm probably going to build this into an indoor set eventually. Um, I've got some brick walls and some crates and stuff and I can turn it, right now I can turn it kind of into a hideout uh, out there. Broken blacktop. Now this is for the guys that don't want to paint much in terms of Zuzzy. There's not a whole lot to paint there. It's just a couple of brick sections and just dry brushing some of the cracks. Um, as you can see, I went so subtle. I don't even think you can see what I did there. Um, but they look fine. You know, that's the that's probably the easiest one to do. Um, also, really like the Despoiled Reaches. I think that's my favorite one of the whole set. Uh, and that one uh, is going to be an ice, an ice kind of like December type set. So, you know, not bad. Painting them all in one night. Um, so I will be ready for the convention tomorrow. I just need to let these finish drying, and I roll them up, throw them in a trunk, and I've got a tournament in a trunk. So that's it for this session for uh, of uh, painting for gamers. Hope you enjoy the review of Zuzzy Mats. Um, bottom line, great product. Just wish it would get here a little bit sooner than it did. So that's it, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.